get clients that would try to see how much they could get out of you or you know like can we scope this problem purposely vaguely and then get like a free extra iteration right yeah and so you call it scope creep right and so yeah you got to be that's that's the number one detriment of the flat fees scope creep so we, but you need to you need to you know how do you need, handle that uh so it depends on the project so if, if i can uh, i say see the beginning from the end yeah or see the end from the beginning that's what it is see the yeah, end from the beginning right. yeah and you know it's a you know we're gonna do this and this and this and it's obviously logical that we're gonna go in this way uh you know it's a lot easier to see that and you can come up with a well-defined narrow scope and then when things start popping up like could it also do this well you know let me submit a quote for you for that and uh, i don't have much i haven't had much uh, experience with that part but from what I've heard is a lot of people, once you say, I'll submit a quote for uh, a, a bid for that, they kind of just not be like, oh, I'm not interested, you know, and they, yeah. they move on. So you've never had a client try to take advantage and, and get like a free extra feature out of you or? Most of the time it is, you know, I'll, I'll, I'll pad in like something is going to scope free and I'll, yeah. I'll have a, a firm, you know, for me in, internal, you know, set of, of how much scope creep could I tolerate? In this that way it's not like i'm nickel and diming them for everything and then but I've, I've planned in that you know one or two things would happen that would yeah. be of a certain magnitude and if it gets above that then we, we say okay we need to talk about our scope and you know submit or re renegotiate this the way i used to handle that when i was writing SKA scopes for flat rate projects is i'd say you know there's one free change order included with this project sure yeah 